What's up everyone? My name's Jake. I'm going to teach you an electric fan today. It looks like this. This is a trick invented by Shingo Terada, aka Terry. He's a 5A player from Japan, world champion, invented electric fan, and beasting are probably his two biggest, most widely known tricks. Electric fan teaches you a few things that are important to 5A. It teaches you momentum control of the counterweight, speed and momentum, and just general comfort. And then you're bringing the yo-yo into it also, controlling both objects at once, their speed and momentum is basically all 5A is. It teaches you something that I think is often overlooked, which is string length from whatever hand is controlling the counterweight to the counterweight. You know, you go too big, E fan's not gonna work for you very well. You go too small, E fan's not gonna work. You need to find that happy medium, you need to get comfortable with it. So that's something that comes with time. And then lastly, it teaches you rebounds once you get good at it. And everyone loves rebounds, everyone wants to do them. They're the best. Today I'm gonna to be throwing the Slappa SS, now available on my website, jakebullockart.com. It is a Slappa with stainless steel rings, bimetal, spins forever. Great yo yo to learn 5A on. And of course, a gummy dice. It don't hurt. I love electric fan. It's one of the first tricks that I really gravitated towards when I started playing and competing in 5A. Helped me win some competitions because, believe it or not, E fan combos like this used to be contest meta and scored a lot of points. I did them a lot, probably too much. I had very, very long electric fan combos in my freestyles. It's one of my favorite tricks, great trick to learn. So let's get into it. You're gonna to wanna to start with the trapeze. And the first thing we're gonna be doing here, you should know how to hold a counterweight if you don't reference my 360 beginner 5A video. But you should be holding your counterweight like this, basically a fist. What you're gonna to wanna to do is pinch the trapeze. However you want to pinch it, I pinch it like this, you can pinch it like this, whatever works. You just don't want it moving, you want it pinched. Pinch that trapeze and you're going to let that counterweight go. And you're going to let it slide. Pinch and drop. So this is going to be something you need to experiment with. At first you're going to be like this, and when you get to swinging it's not going to feel good. It should really, even as a beginner, it should feel good when you start swinging the counterweight. But basically you just need to give it enough. Not like this, not like that. Just experiment, find something that looks right, and then we'll move on to the next step. So you got the pinch, you got the drop. The next step is making a fist, you're gripping the string, turn in it like that, like you're going to punch someone. The purpose of this is so that when you start swinging the counterweight, it's not in line with the yo-yo and getting stuck. You don't want it swinging into the yo-yo. You don't want it behind the yo-yo here, hitting your wrist. You want it out here in front of the yo-yo. Pinch, drop, fist, turn it. I think that helps a lot, keeps it exactly where it needs to be. String coming out like this from your fist, pinky side, fist it. Pinch, drop, fist, punch. That punch will help you get it swinging. And once you get to swinging, just stand here swinging. You know, check your phone, make some phone calls, observe the birds. But just swing for a while, get comfortable. Have fun. Pinch, drop, fist, and we're swinging. Eventually you want to work up the courage, the nerve to swing forward that way. If you're facing it like this, it's counterclockwise. And again, do this for hours. Just swing. This is a nice speed. This is turbo speed. This is maybe a little bit slow sluggish you'll see that the counterweight starts slacking not not working out you want to find that happy medium pinch drop fist punch swing you're swinging the motion with your hand to swing the counterweight is sort of like one of these it's like you're holding a bike handle 
and then you're just giving it a little, you know, a little groovy. But eventually, when you get comfortable, like, you barely have to move this hand. There's not much to that besides practice. Like I said, just stand here all day, pinch, drop, fist, punch, and just get that thing going. Do it as long as you can, get comfortable, speed up, but just try to get comfortable. And this is the point too, where you're really dialing in how much you want. If you're like this, you're going to notice like this seems a little weird. I have too much string down here. If you're like this, you're going to have like an impossible time even getting the thing swinging. If that's the case, first things first, probably shorten your string. Shorter string makes 5A a lot easier. You want to find that happy medium and you can adjust it, you know, start over, adjust, uh, a little bit down. Okay. Once you get it, you're swinging. You basically got the trick. After that, it's just a matter of doing one of these and you should know how to do this already. This is a, I guess that's a barrel roll. So you're coming into this string, swinging it around. Pinch punch we're going and then yeah it's just i think the way terry intended it to be done is like for each swing of the counterweight there's a swing of the yo-yo but it really doesn't matter you can do it your own way you can roll the yo-yo every once in a while you can roll it way too much pinch drop fist punch and roll swinging and rolling and that's it then you have the trick and you can go show people, you can go to the grocery store and just start doing this, see what happens. So that's it. Electric fan, e-fan, one of the best 5A tricks ever made. Thank you, Terry. You are a legend. I love this trick. If you can get this down, you're well on your way to learning saw chucks and all the other fun. You can just do 5A if you can do e-fan, as far as I'm concerned. So good luck. Thanks, guys.